First at 10 tonight, a Milwaukee house fire early this morning has claimed the life of at least one person. Another was taken to the hospital. Let's get right out to Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom. He is live at the scene with more on the story. Jeffrey? Anna, neighbors tell me that the inside of this home is charred and burned to a crisp. Where right now in front of the home, you can see a memorial that has been laid by neighbors for the victims. Two of them, who are neighbors on either side of the victim's home, currently outside. Crews say while they were able to put the flames out in just 10 minutes, it wasn't in time to save everybody inside. It has been a very sad night. So I was woken up at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning listening to chainsaws. And then I opened my eyes and I saw flashing lights everywhere. Joanne Ravelli, who lives the door down, says she sprang out of bed early Saturday morning to see all kinds of emergency vehicles. And while she didn't personally see the fire, she says her neighbor across the street, who happened to be sitting in his car at the time, did. She says he noticed the flames through the window and spreading through the living room. Ravelli says he then called 911 and she watched as he stayed on the phone and ran up to the home. Throwing a large rock through the window, she says he heard banging from the inside, which she suspects was a person inside attempting to escape. She recalls hearing her neighbor shouting that he was going to kick the door down. However, she says the dispatcher, who was still on the line, advised against that. So he didn't do it. The man dropped in there. I guess they brought him out. He's pretty burned. Unfortunately, his wife has passed. Fire crews say they were able to get both individuals out of the home in less than three minutes, where outside of the home, Ravelli says you can still see a charred shirt belonging to one of the victims. And beside it now stands a memorial. We all put this together, us neighbors, in memory of her. Ravelli says it's for a neighbor who has been living there since she moved in more than 15 years ago, describing those who lived in this home as a quiet but very loving couple who mostly kept to themselves. They were a very loving couple. They were very close and tight with each other. And he was, he was her caretaker because she had MS. So he, he worked, he took care of her. So they, were, they had a great relationship. Joanne says she recently closed this gate where behind it she says she saw a man come by to pick up the couple's dog who didn't make it. Unfortunately passing, she suspects, to smoke inhalation. It's so surreal. I can't even wrap my head around this, especially when this happens so close to home that, you know, everything's so dry out here that, you know, it could have taken a lot of our homes. Ravelli credits her neighbor across the street for quickly spotting the fire and potentially saving other homes from going up, too. She's also saddened to say she believes the couple has two fully grown children living in the area. I'm sorry this happened. This is a horrible, horrible ordeal. I feel bad for their kids, and I, I hope everybody involved pulls through okay. While neighbors say the couple did often smoke inside of their home, the official cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live from Milwaukee, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Fox 12 Oregon.